We've come a long way in, for the treatment of stage four gastric cancer. Um, from not too long ago where first line therapy consisted of cisplatin 5-FU and that's where basically palliative therapy stopped when that stopped working. We now know that there are a number of chemotherapy regimens that are effective, platinum-based, taxane-based, irinotecan-based. We have targeted therapies for HER2 uh, amplified patients that are uh, receiving anti-HER2 therapy. We know that antiangiogenesis in the second line setting is effective and improves survival and, and, and increases response rates. Uh, we now have evidence that uh, subsets will derive benefit from a checkpoint blockade immunotherapy, uh, including microsatellite instability patients that account for about 3% of patients approved in the second line setting or higher, and, and those that are microsatellite stable but have overexpression of PDL1 by combined positivity score and more than one, one more than or equal to 1% of, of cells in the third line setting or higher. So we've come a long way. The median overall survival has improved uh, significantly uh, as a consequence of that. Um, and there are other in, uh, interesting and exciting things on the horizon. Moving checkpoint blockade into earlier lines of therapy. We have uh, awaiting two large phase three studies to see if that will change the standard of care either in all comers or in PDL1 expressing patients, or at least in patients who have very high levels of PDL1 uh, above 10% CPS. We have other approaches, vaccines that are on the horizon, ne uh, neoantigen vaccines, and uh, other combination strategies with various targeted therapies. We've come to understand the biology of the cancer and the makeup of the cancer with molecular heterogeneity, not only between patients, but also within the patient, and that uh, addressing those problems now may help better us target our therapies appropriately at any given time point to improve the patient's outcome. So there's a lot to look forward to, uh, and we've come a long way, and uh, this patient here has benefited from some of these therapies.